Scientists are learning more about the coronavirus every day, and tonight 239 researchers from 32 countries are calling on the World Health Organization to be more clear about how the virus can spread and what measures might help contain it. The letter is titled, It is Time to Address Airborne Transmission of COVID-19. Published in a scientific journal, it's signed by scientists from the U.S., Europe, China, Australia, and the Middle East. It says studies have demonstrated beyond any reasonable doubt that viruses are released during exhalation, talking, and coughing in micro droplets small enough to remain aloft in the air and pose a risk of exposure. How is that any different from what we already know? Well, it's now accepted that large droplets from infected people can travel about six feet in the air. But the scientists argue there is also evidence much smaller droplets can hang in the air for longer periods of time, especially indoors. It means ventilation is much more important to disperse the virus, as illustrated in this graphic that accompanies the letter. The scientists recommend bringing more outdoor air inside and minimizing recirculating air, particularly in public buildings, workplaces, schools, hospitals, and nursing homes. They also recommend using high-efficiency air filters and germ-killing ultraviolet lights and avoiding overcrowding, particularly in public transportation and public buildings. The World Health Organization has not yet responded to the letter, but last week acknowledged the challenges of COVID-19. It's just six months ago that we actually learned about this cluster of cases of pneumonia originating in Wuhan. Um, and none of us could have, I think, imagined when we woke up on the 1st of January that six months uh, along, this is where we are going to be grappling with this pandemic. We've learned a lot. And the scientists say measures such as hand washing and social distancing are still recommended, but additional measures are needed to protect against airborne transmission as well. We've collected a lot of important data on the coronavirus beyond the daily numbers reported by the state. Right now on the COVID-19 page of ClickOnDetroit.com, you can not only get a look at the trends over time since March, but also breakdowns of cases and deaths by city and by race and ethnicity. Just click at the very top left of any page on ClickOnDetroit.com and select COVID-19 data from the list. That will take you to a page full of information and expert advice to help you through the pandemic.